Hey everybody, Joe Burnich with Big West Marketing. We empower small businesses to take it to the next level and we do that with internet marketing, primarily with um, Google SEO, Google Ads, and then websites that actually convert, meaning they get people to call, fill out a form, take some sort of action so you can make more money. That's the whole point of this internet marketing stuff. So today is, uh, is the first time I'm actually bringing on um, Big West Marketing's SEO specialist, Wendy Moon. And uh, most of the time, Wendy, I mean, she's in, she's in the trenches and she's doing this stuff every single day. She knows the changes that happen within Google when they happen, like the minute they happen. And then she comes and tells me and then I, I you know, and she shows me and educates me and then I make a video. What I decided to do today was to actually just bring her on and let her explain to you guys uh, exactly what she's seeing going on with this new announcement, this new update that Google has made that may or may not affect you, okay? So that being said, um, Wendy, uh, we're gonna switch over to the screen here and we pulled up a, a business, a service area business in Long Island, right? Right. Okay, and what you've seen in the past couple days is that when they display this here, so if you type in your exact business name uh, and you may have to type in the city name behind that, but when you do that, it pulls up what's called the knowledge panel, right? Right. Okay. And you've seen, we're seeing here that when it shows the little map section of, you know, where you're located, where you, what, the area that you serve, um, what's different about this? And then we'll show it, we'll show an old one so that you can, can compare it, but go ahead. Sure. So Long Island, of course, it's long and it's showing the entirety of Long Island. Uh, it used to be. It was just a circle, and so that went up into New York City, up into Connecticut, and it just really wasn't accurately showing where the business was serving clients. So, so it was misleading it because was. all they had, and we did find another Long Island business here that just has like this little this little dot or this little map marker. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not showing the circle on this one. We couldn't want, find one specifically for Long Island. Um, what was the one that we saw that did have the circle? Did we, we found one earlier, didn't we? Yeah, it was, uh, Absher Carpet Care. Let's just see. And so that, that's no, this, no. just the dot. Um, and so the reason it's showing just the, uh, the little marker on this one and this one is because these companies have not, um, gone into their Google My Business and set up their service area. Is that yeah. correct? Right. Try Peace Frog. Peace Frog, that's right. Austin. Peace Frog, Austin. There we go. That's so that, the circle. That's the one. So that's when you correctly set up your service area uh, and put in, you know, all your zip codes or all the towns that you service, okay, uh, then Google in the past put this circle up, okay, and they're still obviously doing that for some businesses. There's st this is the rollout period. You know how Google does stuff. It's not all at once. Some areas of the country they hit first, uh, but what uh, what the what what like this has not done yet, and this, and uh, whatever other one I had pulled up before has not done yet, is they have not gone into their Google My Business account, and this is the back end of my Google My Business account for Big West Marketing. Um, yours is going to look s similar, but when you click on info over here. And it shows you this screen where you can change all your 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 info on your business. Um, there is this little section called service areas, right? Right. Hit the little pencil next to that, and this is where you can start adding all your cities, uh, zip codes, uh, and your different areas. You know, I've got like countries in in mind, but you're probably going to have you know cities, zip codes, suburbs, maybe counties, right? You can do right. counties. Yes, yeah. you can. Okay, cool. And so you need to make sure, the big takeaway that you need to get from this video right now is that you should log in and, and edit this service areas because this is a new, this is a new little section, right? This is new. This, they rolled this out in November. Okay. Uh, and I scrambled to make sure that all of our clients had that listed pro correctly. Okay. If they don't list those service areas you can't have a mile radius around your business anymore that's what you it don't used have to that be option. you used, used to be able to say here's my here's my address mm -hmm. and do like a 30 mile radius right right, right. and uh, you could go either way you could name cities okay. or you could set a mile radius you can no longer set a mile radius okay. around your business because they want to know specifically 
where you're serving your clients. Okay, and this is specifically for service area businesses. So like a retail shop or like a restaurant or something is probably not going to have this little option in here, right? Right, right. It's going to be different. So that's a, this is kind of a sign of the times that Google is now treating service area businesses different, which yes. is good. It is. It is. It, a lot of the frustration has been that, hey, I work all over this part of the world and Google won't show that I do. Okay. And so what I'm seeing is that Google's being more fair. They're not limiting to you to your small town. Okay. Um, they are allowing for you to be shown okay. in other areas. They're not well, let's let's make sure let's let's clarify that because that doesn't mean that he's going when he does good SEO that he's going to rank in all the 25 different cities here, right? It just means right. that Google's going to, when they pull up the map, they're going to show people that this is the area that he's willing to drive to. to Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's exactly Cause what we Because a big issue we have is, and I don't want anybody calling up and being like, hey, I, I've heard Google made the change and now I can rank in, in 20 different cities instead of just one. No, it's still, they rank you in the city where your address is physically located. That's still the case. But... This little bonus thing where they're actually going to make it more clear to your clients when they type in your business name uh, is going to be this little map. Exactly. This little map improvement. Exactly. Okay. But this brings up another issue that is, I think is really important is, and you've seen, you just gave me an example earlier, um, it's not about your website so much anymore as mm -hmm. far as like what really helps you rank. Tell me, tell me about that. Well, and, and when I was at the local U conference back in February, I actually spoke to some Google representatives, and they were careful to point out that a business is an entity. It's okay. not just a website. Okay. It's not just an address or a phone number or anything like that. It's the whole package. Okay. And that includes everything across the internet, too. Exactly. So if you're looking to really get an SEO and you think that just having a really good website and filling out your Google stuff is, is all you need, um, think again because there's lots of different factors. And you gave me the example of our, I don't want to name the client, but mm -hmm. you said that we had a client that... A like, client in California who uh, had done some things on previous websites. He sold a domain okay. uh, and changed the domain. And I was surprised to see his rankings return okay. rather quickly. Within a couple months. You said he had changed, over the years, he's changed his website uh, domain, the address. The, the URL. Several times. Several times. And in the past, that would have really hurt rankings. It would have been really hard to get ranked back up because Google's looking at that and being like, well, you know, you can't even decide on a website, so you're probably not a very stable, legitimate business, right? Exactly. But now Google's being like, well... All kinds of other things are going are very consistent and and uh, he's got good reviews and like all exactly. the other stuff that's going on is trumping the the fact that he's changed his website a few times right that's right and so what that proves guys and what you really need to understand is there's all these things that Google looks at that all add up to to your rankings getting you ranked up to the top of Google and making your phone ring getting the jobs, and making more money for your business. It all depends on the entity, all the different stuff you have on Google, and how prominent it is, and how correct the information, how consistent the information, all that stuff is the game these days, especially in 2019. Google's getting really good at this. Google wants to know that you are what you say you are. Yes, and if you try to play these games with... I still hear people trying to play games with P.O. boxes, virtual addresses, their friends address in another city and trying to open up different businesses and this and that. Google's on top of that, guys. I mean, I know there's still people that did it 10 years ago and they're still getting away with it a little bit here and there, but you try to come in and play those games with Google right now, uh, it's going to make your life, it's going to make it really hard for you to, to rank in the future. Even if you clean everything up, it's still going to take a lot more time and you've got competitors that are just doing it right and you're not. I mean, it's, guys, the game is... Keep it real and keep it clean. Is that... Keep it good? real. Keep it real. Yeah. Okay. All right, Wendy, anything else you want to add along these lines about this, this new Google update? I just think that Google is trying to be more fair to service area businesses. In the past, you know, it seemed like 
they just don't care. Mm -hmm. They just don't care. And everybody's selling pizza, so they're just going to show the closest thing. Yeah. Now, that being said, yes, ranking is still going to be determined by proximity. Yeah. But I think that Google has done service area businesses a favor by allowing their service area to be shown more accurately. Yeah, so this is a sign of things to come, uh, Wendy was telling me, and that's kind of what the Google people were hinting at when you were at the conference. They were. They were definitely hinting at that. So there's more common for service area businesses. If you own a service area business, meaning you go out and you do work at other people's homes or businesses, whatever that work may be, um, this is the kind of stuff that's going to affect you moving forward. So that being said, uh, once again, I'm Joe Burnage. This is Wendy Moon with Big West Marketing. If you have any questions or if you need help with your Google marketing stuff, 406-493-1881. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Now, if you're a client of Big West Marketing, all of this is taken care of for you. We like to make this as simple as possible for our clients so you can focus on what you do best. Now, if you are not a client of Big West Marketing, right now we are offering a free consultation up to 30 minutes. That's normally a $97 value, so take advantage of this right now. Just call or click on the link to schedule a day and time that works best for you. So, if you're tired of being confused and overwhelmed, then contact us today. Someone from our office will show you step-by-step -step what you need to do to be successful online. If you are ready for a real solution, contact us today.